Hi guys, uh, so this video will be overview of CCH Access, my favorite tech software. So there's a pros and cons to CCH Access, it's like super awesome, it can do everything, it's ideal, but the cons are that it's kind of expensive and it's like they don't really tell you right away how much it costs. So I'm going to record a video on new updates for the tax year 2023, which we do now in 2024. And also I'll go over pricing, I'm going to go over how it looks like, what changed this year, things like that. So I hope you enjoyed this video. See you in a bit. Hey guys, uh, so now you can see I have CCH tags open for, uh, it just got updated, so January 2024, and this is tax year 2023, tax preparation. Uh, so that's how the icon would look like. It has, so CCH Access has a lot, a couple uh, products, which is documents, tax, practice management, whatever. And a couple more, I'm sorry, uh, but I'm just using for this example, just a tax, tax return, right? So this is how, like, we we'll just try to open, so we press on this, enter account number, username, and then we'll have this beautiful return management window open. And it's kind of like they changed the views since last year. I actually were kind of bummed because I really liked how it looked out before. But oh well, I'm pretty sure it's the same, just design is different. Uh, so here they say that it will be another update January 1st, 2021. And we'll change a couple more things, right? So it will print blank organizers. It will show update status for a couple tax return. Then we can like change things up a little bit so more updates are coming but this is what it is i think it's gonna look like this for this year uh so i also had this message popped up before i open it that they made a couple changes so let me just go through them very quick quickly so they said you can pin uh, pin reorder sort filter columns and things like that there's more columns to modify for, for so it will they will add such as post name in use status roll forward status last modified that actually this is really cool because sometimes i have the return open and like i don't know if somebody else if it's open or not if i know somebody else is using it i'm probably not gonna go in there and use it as well so we can save changes and then somebody else can open it so that's cool when it was last modified things like that so i really like those changes that's nice we can unlock and lock couple returns at the same time uh let's see what else is interesting I think that's kind of cool. And then like we can do all, all this additional stuff that's coming up in new release, which is update multiple returns, roll forward templates, lock returns, things like that. So that's cool. And also they, mess man uh, they just uh, told me here is that right here we can just uh, open the recent use returns and stuff like that. So here we have use and we can change it up. So let me show you. So we can go to returns or templates. And I'm going to go over what the returns or te templates are, which is kind of interesting for me because that's new. It wasn't here last year. Or maybe I haven't noticed. Just kidding. It was not here. It's a new update. <laughs> awesome. So, all right, let's look at this beautiful return manager things. So here you're supposed to see all tax returns, right? So it will say, say the tax year. Return type, which is individual, S corp, in whatever. Templates, if needed, like what template are we using? And I'm gonna go, I think I'm gonna get into templates right now. Creator and description. Okay, cool. So new for CCH access. And it's very interesting. I'm actually like, can used, can get used to it at this moment. So when you press file, which is for creating new tax returns, supposedly. It has this new section, new return or new template. So new return, we know what it is. It's just creating tax return like all other normal tax offers, which CCH access is like extra brilliant. So it's not normal, it's great. And here we can create a new template. And I was like, oh, that's kind of interesting. I wonder what it is. Uh, so I created a template right here. And I start reading, I was like, what is a template? So CCH access website says uh, right here. 
The templates allow you to set up a master text return for a text year and return type. A text template contains recurring information that you would like applied to a new or all forward return. So what it means is we can create this template and then which we can save all information we want. Like let's say prepare a name, printing, um, what is that? Printing details, like the way we want to print our returns and things like that. And we'll just enter all the information we kind of want to be in that next text return, apply to next text return. And then uh, we'll just, when we create text return, and that's the reason why it has, you see like here, we have text return, return type, text return, whatever, and it will have a template under here. So whichever templates they're using. So this is like a base for text return, but we can also apply it later. Like we created a text return and it was like, oh, you know what? Let me apply those uh, details from this template so we can apply those things later. Okay, so now let's not get, so this is just modification for the text returns that we can save here, create the name for this template and then eventually apply or we, when we create a new text return, we can apply. So for example, like right here, we have electronic filing things if you need to like, well, maybe not electronic filings, well, return options, that's a good one. So usually like we majority of companies, they want to have the same return options, right? So for example, like they want to print certain things, uh, like all this miscellaneous information prepares information right here, right? So we can set it up and then apply the template to the text return. So it updates the information automatically. Okay, cool. So that's about templates. That's kind of cool. I like that. So here we create text return, open text return, delete text return, close return management, right? The view section, uh, we, it give you, we can edit our views. So when we go here, we can add a column and like, let's say, we can, oh, in use, in use is a cool column. I like that. And then like modify it or whatever we want. We can just add them, done. And now we have more columns here. Pretty awesome. I love it. So this is a view. So we can update, change current view, update current view, save new views, things like that. Refresh it, manage. So here we roll forward tax return. So if you have 2022 tax year tax return, we click check box here and then go here and do roll forward. So that's cool. E-filing. So like e-filing is actually not happening here. E-filing happening on uh, like in the browser. So it take us, takes us to this beautiful page where we can enter all the information, like a text here, return type, and see like what's going on with e-filing. So this is how we check e-filing. So that's the only way. But we can actually be e-filing here, but to check if it was e-filed or not in print confirmation, we go to that page that it takes us. Utilities, let's see. Uh, so this is like backup, restore files, scan returns sent to support which is really cool if you want to talk to support about certain tax return you go here transfer to access transfer to pro system i guess if you purchase any other softwares they have so that's kind of what we use so we can import export that's all in utilities help so here we have help topics so those are general topics resource center which is also like general topics about feedback forum web like all this kind of so those are like very general uh like right here so they don't have a chat at the moment you have to call them and you have to like do this thing and their utilities uh, sent to support and then you talk to them so that's how support happening but they're actually really good really smart people never had issues i would just call them they would give me a response right away so can't complain the wait line is not long so all good so here is another kind of like similar things that were here in this menu. It's just kind of like shortcuts and we can change it up. If you want something else here, we can modify it as well, right? So this is how it's going to look like. So I'm just gonna quickly go over template because it looks exactly as a text return. 
I'm not gonna create a tax return just yet because it's just beginning, um, well, mid of January and uh, I kinda wanna wait for new releases and then create tax return. And then I'm gonna show you how to do like individual or business tax return and CCH and certain schedules. But for now, let's just look at this beautiful template. So this is how tax return gonna going to look like as well. So it will have options. We'll have a home menu, review menu, view, manage. So kind of like similar what we just have, right? So here we can go under like we can go to the worksheets. We can delete certain information or forms if you need. So let me see what is the most useful review. So here we'll have diagnostics. Uh, we don't have it here because it's a template, but in tax return we will. So this is diagnostic thing. View. This is for us to view forms. Like, because now, okay, I'll explain in a second. So we can go here and change the view or we can go here. So worksheets, that's where we enter information. Forms is actually like result of what we enter goes under forms, right? So this is our forms and groups. I never use groups in my life. I honestly don't know what it is. I think it just, what is group? That's bizarre. Oh, it's like navigating stuff, changing it up. Never use groups. I think it's just combining a couple of things, but you know, I'm gonna write a comment here to explain you what groups are. But I use worksheets and I use forms, right? And then we clear diagnostics. Manage if you need to do another version or something like that and help, we just went through help and that kind of stuff. So here we enter basic information. So we start with tax return, whatever fields that are required, they would be just, you know, like in red. So those things we need to fill up 100% and then like lots of more that will be shown under diagnostics. So we'll start with general information, then we go to electronic filing. So of course, like is there certain things you want, we want to update here, we do it here. So electronically file federal return and Yes, so we need to press yes if you want to do electronically. Uh, I mean, or not press anything, and I guess it will be default that it's going to be e filed and things like that. Here's what we do for extension, file extension. And I'm going to record like lots of video on CCH access as we go. So I'm going to record things as they became important. And so let's see. And here we have sections like income sections, which is wages, interest, all kind of stuff for individual tax return deductions, taxes. So, yeah, you know, like everywhere else, I think props, I'm sorry, <laughs> CCH access is beautiful. It has all this section here. We can search for whatever we want, or we can just go here. Also in, in the form, we can always right click and try to get where this information is supposed to be, which is, let's see, link to work paper, right? So what else is useful here? We can delete stuff if you want to. If something overwritten, we can add the note or I always use link to worksheet. So I just go to, it just takes me to, to the worksheet where I need to enter this information. So I think it's pretty awesome. Uh, yeah, CCH access is my favorite, as I mentioned. So that's kind of overview how to use it, right? Uh, so we'll have all tax returns here. It will tell us the tax year. We can jump from one tax year to another by also mm, filtering them right here or right here under tax return. And that's kind of, and like this is overview of uh, CCH access for 2023 tax year filing. I hope that was helpful. I'll be recording more videos on these topics and let me know if there's anything particular you want me to record videos on. Thank you. Have a good day.